This morning, the impact of a cold wave across Cakeland. People with electric heat on the west side of Winfield may have been shivering for hours this morning. That area lost power around 3 a.m., but crews told us a few minutes ago service is now restored. Elsewhere, snow flurries fell on the Wichita area, and all of Kansas is in for some of the coldest air this winter. Cakes Monica Castro, she is live, and I'm going to guess she's cold. Checking conditions for you and your pets, Monica. Yep, I'm definitely bouncing up and down here just trying to, to keep warm out here. And you could probably see a little bit of flurries happening over here. And obviously, that wind chill, very, very cold. So you should bundle up if you plan to go outside. But also, don't forget about your pet. The McPherson County uh, Animal Shelter notes a dog or cat's fur is not enough when the wind chill drops well below zero. It suggests bringing pets inside until things improve. Failing that, outdoor dog houses need to have blankets or straw to provide some warmth. Pets also need access to water that is not frozen because hydration is still important. Now, the U.S. Humane Society also suggests that outside water bowls be made of plastic, not metal. That way you can protect your little dog or cat's mouth. Stay warm. It's cold. Reporting live, Monica Castro, Cake News. Thank you, Monica. The Wichita government website shows most of the city snowplows are in service this morning. Take a look. This is a live look of that map showing where they're looking for trouble spots on streets. And you can track them online by visiting wichita.gov slash snow removal.